this is how to create a really easy motion blur using the graphics 2D component for drawing. Um, I have two examples here. On the left we have a ball going from left to right, jumping a little up and down with no motion blur at all. And on the right here we have the exact same thing but with motion blur. If you can't really see it then blame the quality of YouTube. Try going into full screen or something. Um, we can also increase the motion blur. So here it's more blurry. And uh, you can get some really awesome effects from this. You can do it even more intense. But yeah. So let's just get started. First of all, I can just explain this how you do it in an, on an applet. Um, because that is just the simplest. If you're using an applet, you are probably using your own buffered image for drawing onto and then drawing that onto the applet. At the start, of where you are drawing on your buffered image, you probably set a um, draw or fill a rectangle with a color just to clear everything. Well, don't. Or the clear color, just lower the alpha key. And there you have it, motion blur. If you are do doing it through a J component by overriding the paint method, well, then go down to your uh, J component and set the set opaq um, method and set it to true that means that it don't each time that it repaints it it don't just fill a rectangle to cover up everything that we just painted so that we can kind of paint on top of it and kind of just um, filling a rectangle with a low alpha key just to cover, cover it up a little and that gives us a kind of motion blur um, yeah, effect. So normally it will look something like this. But just by filling this rectangle and lowering the alpha, we can get this awesome effect. So yeah, there's not anything more into it, but normally you have to calculate everything and um, also do that when it's image processing, but if you just want an fast and easy and not CPU intensive for a, a method at all for getting motion blur well then this method is really awesome so yeah if you want this source code I'll place it in the description I think yeah why not it's really simple um, most of you probably create a new class that extends a J component for creating a graphics utility um, I also do that but right now I just yeah because this was the most simplest so I just did that the rest is just for drawing the OVL and the kinda little animation effect of dust jumping up and down but yeah there's nothing more into it you just the OPQ thing here the thing here you just set it to true which means that don't just fill a big rectangle on top of everything each time it repaints and then just by filling your own rectangle with a low alpha you can get this awesome effect you can also just make it another color if you want to so the background can be whatever you want to you just need to lower the alpha like so yeah but the the code will be in the description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my tutorials, I have a bunch more and projects and future projects, then feel free to subscribe and you can write anything you want in the comments. I don't care. Um, and I just really confused myself, but yeah. See you later.